learning new details this morning about the woman allegedly behind the wheel of a car that killed three teens who were on their way to a soccer tournament. It comes as those teens' classmates will be heading back to class today for the first time since the tragedy. Many of them and the teens' family are now speaking out. CBS 4's Riel Creighton is live at the scene of that crash with what they are saying and the new details that we're learning this morning. Riel? Well, Carly and Lauren, for the third straight day, the memorial out here continues to grow this morning. Meantime, police have not yet identified the driver who crashed into those teens, but our news partners at the Miami Herald are reporting from sources that she is a 31-year-old woman who smelled of alcohol at the time of the crash and was driving on a suspended license. I miss my son. My fifth son. Heartbroken parents of a 15-year-old visited the memorial where three teens were killed Saturday morning in North Miami. I miss him. Last time I see him. <laughs> 17-year-old Rashard Dumay, 13-year-old Gideon Desir, and 15-year-old Lenz Desir killed while on their way to a soccer tournament. They were all friends who were walking together. Okay. Thank you. Some students from Miami Edison High, North Miami Middle, and the Little Haiti Football Club at a loss for words. Others speak of disbelief. They'll never see them smile again. Even when I saw the news report, I kept calling his phone, but he never picked up. I keep praying, I keep praying this later on when we're going home. I heard all three of them was dead. Grady's surveillance video shows the teens walking along Northeast 125th Street. As soon as they're out of frame, video captures a car speeding in their direction. We lost three sons, but I must tell you that uh, personally, uh, I lost a son. Gédéon Désir was an altar server of the Church of Notre Dame de Haiti. Police have yet to confirm exactly what caused that driver to crash, but investigators say they survived and were taken to the hospital in serious condition. I'm still trying to understand what uh, transpired. I'm still trying to find word to express it, uh, which is very difficult for me. Now another difficult journey begins as parents prepare the funeral for the three teens. My son did. I swear that. That's where I lost my son. In the meantime, yeah, just a devastating loss for this entire community. In the meantime, the president of the soccer club says he is now planning the memorial service for those teenage boys. It is scheduled for June 5th. Live in North Miami, Riel Creighton, CBS4 This Morning.